Hi everyone, I'm Irish Arkia and I will be your reporter for today. So now, we are going to tackle about Art Nuevo. In this discussion, you will be able to know more about Art Nuevo, its characteristics, and its ano, Art Nuevo artworks. So without further ado, let's get this started. A lot of people asking, what is Art Nuevo? Well, the meaning of Art Nuevo is, it is very prominent in architecture. It pervaded all arts, and it includes great variety of fine and decorative arts like painting, graphic art, interior design, jewelry and furniture, textile, ceramics, glass art, and metalwork. Despite of its translation, New Art, this style was already in circulation a decade before it gained a specific recognition in the mid of 1890s. So, do you know who is Siegfried Bing? Well, Siegfried Bing is a German-born art dealer. He is critic and entrepreneur who is the founder of a store and showroom called La Maison del Art Nuevo the house of new art furthermore although art nuevo suggested that this type is entirely new and unprecedented the style has several sources first its early proponents found were inspired by natural forms for their complexity and irregularity particularly curved lines of plants and flowers in a nutshell, Art Nuevo is an intricately designed art. The artist would take a lot of time to perfect very minute details to impress the audience with its precise details. In this slide, as you can see, I provided a photo of ornate dining utensils. It is an example of the artist who is very detailed in his creation in the next slide we have here a beautiful Kerbel style wall ornament designed with the face of a lady from the art nuevo period perfect for hanging on a garden wall the exterior of your house or anywhere you wish to add a unique feature to your home it is made from a weather resistant iberian marble and cement font so based on my personal experience no dili kay siya yung inana gidiyahang style but ang kita ko inana sa mga church kana bitan naka ano sa gawa ay sa entrance sa church nga naka nang na isolated water na mag sign of the cross ka so yes along with William Morris Art Nuevo was also influenced by non-western art that was being imported into Europe simple years of line Flat areas of color, pattern, and the flat hues of the picture frame were all refreshing to the Western artist's eye. And this wood block by Hokusai, a giant wave, manages to be both beautiful and terrifying. So, this is the mountain Fuji seen below a wave of Kanagawa, 1831. It is the artwork of Kotsushika Hokusai. On the European continent, Art Nuevo was influenced in the experiments with the expressive line by the painters Paul Gaugin and Henry de Taulos Lautrec. The movement was also partly inspired by a vogue for the linear patterns of Japanese prints o yuki e so if you are not familiar with the UQE, it is a genre of Japanese art which flourished from the 17th through 19th centuries. Its artists produce woodblock prints and paintings of such subjects as female beauties, kabuki actors, and sumo wrestlers. Art Nuevo was a movement in the history of design. In architecture, Art Nuevo was more of a kind detail than it was a style. In graphic design, the movement helped to usher a new modernicism. In the next slide, we have here the Art Nuevo characteristics, which are the asymmetrical shapes, curving plants like embellishments, curved glass, and 
extensive use of arcs and curved forms and mosaics. We have here also the stained glass and lastly the Japanese motifs. So now we are moving on on the Art Nuevo artworks which are the clockwise from Paris metro station abysses by Hector Guimard. Next we have lithograph by Alphonse Mocha, 1898. Next, lamp by Louise Comfort Tiffany. And wall cabinet by Louise Mahorel. And lastly, we have the interior of the Hotel Tassel and Bruces by Victoria Horta, 1892 and 1893. That's all for Art Nuevo. I hope you learned something, guys. Thank you for watching.